What is up you guys? We are back at it again with another Student Speaks episode for DPT School. In this episode we have three programs that are going to be represented. We got UOP, which is University of the Pacific, MGH Institute for Health Professionals, and Washington University. So if any of these schools you're interested in, stay tuned for the rest of this video. Lego. Do you want to learn everything you need to know to get accepted into DPT school? If you're confused about exactly which prerequisites to take or where to focus your attention on the DPT application, then consider taking my course. This course will cover tips and strategies for each aspect of the DPT application where you will be equipped to understand everything you need to know to get accepted into your dream school DPT program. And right now, you could get this course at a discount for a limited time. Click below for more details. Hey everyone, what's going on? My name is Justin Lee, Doctor of Physical Therapist. Here you'll find videos on fitness, physical therapy, and lifestyle that helps inspire self-change. If any of those resonates with you, feel free to subscribe and hit those notifications. Okay, so Student Speaks, what the hell is that? If you're new here, you're probably wondering that question. So really quick, Student Speaks is a series that I've created to ask specific students from their specific DPT program and I asked them to talk in front of a camera and just tell me about experiences, student life, pros and cons, strengths of their specific program so that you who are interested in what that specific program is all about, you're probably a student trying to get into DBT school, looking into that specific program and wondering what is student life like? Now you look at their online website and it doesn't really tell you much. It gives you the highlights, right? It tells you the outline but you're like, what does student, how, how is a student happy? Are they sad? What's the environment like? So Student Speaks is a series to talk about all of that and to give you insight when you want to consider applying to that specific school. So really quick, if your school is not listed in the Student Speaks series yet, please comment below on which schools you want represented so I can go hunt that student down and see if they'll be willing to volunteer their time. Also, I want to say a quick thank you for all the students who have been volunteering their time to speak and be courage in front of a camera to represent their school. And if you guys can show them some love, I'll also put in the description all their links and make sure you follow them, make sure you like their stuff, and just show them some appreciation. Okay, so we got three schools representing. We got University of the Pacific from Stockton, California, which we have Simone, who's going to be representing us. Next, we have MGH Institute for Health Professionals from Boston, Massachusetts, where we have Faramang, who's going to represent that school. And lastly, we got Washington University from St. Louis, Missouri, where we got Cam representing that program. All right, guys, let's get into it. Simone, you're up. Hi, my name is Simone Gingras. I'm a physical therapist. I've been practicing about three years now after graduating from University of the Pacific's physical therapy program in September 2016. I had a great experience at UOP and that's what I'm here to talk to you about. UOP is probably most well known for being a two-year accelerated program. So it's broken up into 18 months of didactic education followed by six months of clinical internships. So that's about five, month, or five semesters of classes followed by three eight-week clinical internships, which I'll talk about a little bit later. Class sizes are about 36 students or so, and these people become your family for the next 18 months and even beyond. Because it's an accelerated program, the academics are rigorous. This is one of the toughest parts about UOP. Um, and the main way that this kind of comes out when you're in the program is that you need to score an 80% or higher on each exam in order to pass. Um, if you don't pass, you must take a competency exam until you do. And this sounds really intimidating and nerve wracking, and it definitely is when you're in the program. Um, but it keeps you accountable and make sure and it makes sure you actually learn the knowledge um, so you don't fall behind in the intensely um, accelerated program. 
Um, but the program does absolutely set you up for success. So between your classmates um, and the small student to professor ratio, which is I think about um, eight to one right now, um, you have endless support to meet your goals academically. Um, UOP does ease you into a rigorous class schedule though. For the first semester, we had Fridays off, so you could use that for extra studying time, lab time, or um, for traveling, or just plain old recovering from the crazy school week. UOP's professors come from a variety of different backgrounds, and they have um, several different board certified specialties and they're truly willing to invest the time in you to get you where you need to be. Um, there's also many research opportunities for students to partake in with professors um, and students can participate in publishing and presenting their research at professional conferences. I also really appreciated the strong alumni presence that UOP has from guest lecturers to lab assistants and practical examiners. Um, it just gives you more opportunity to connect with and learn from those who have been through it all before you. The campus and facilities are beautiful. UOP is a, in the surrounding area is a little oasis in Stockton. Um, and because Stockton is located so centrally in California, the weekends we weren't spent studying, um, we were going on trips to San Francisco in the Bay Area, Sacramento and Lodi, Yosemite, Santa Cruz and Monterey. Everything was a short day trip away, which kind of helps you keep your sanity in the middle of PT school. Um, and the facilities themselves, where you'll be spending most of your time, um, are huge and equipped with specialized equipment, such as body support treadmills, things like that. That lab space is where the pro bono clinic is held during your second year. And so you're able to use any of that equipment to um, treat your patients. Um, there's also a new state of the art simulation lab where you get to work with mannequins that have a pulse and breathe to practice your acute care and cardiopulmonary skills. One of my favorite parts of PT school was our anatomy lab. We had, I think it was seven cadavers, and so there were five or six of us per cadavers, and we were able to fully dissect um, from the outside in throughout the whole semester, getting the chance to really get that hands-on learning experience. And that was definitely one of the highlights for me and something I still refer back to in my memory as a practicing clinician. As far as clinicals go, UOP offers one a one month clinical in the summertime for me um, that was broken up into two short two week internships, which I really liked because it gave me the chance to explore and learn in settings that I was interested in, but wasn't necessarily sure I wanted to spend a whole rotation in. Um, and then to finish out the program, you go through three eight week internships, one outpatient, one acute, and one of your choice. Um, in an accelerated program, something has to give to make up that um, time. And in this case, it is the length of the clinicals. Um, so because you don't have um, more than eight weeks in each setting, um, it does limit the exposure you have to different patient populations and, a, and your experience treating different conditions. However, this is totally doable and you're well set up to pass boards and be an independent, competent clinician by the end of those three internships. So UOP overall is an excellent program. I really enjoyed my time there, my time spent learning from the professors and with my classmates, and I highly recommend it to anyone who is willing to go through an intensely um, rigorous program. It's absolutely worth it. You get out a year early and you're able to start practicing that much sooner, start paying off those loans. If you have any questions, you can reach out to me and I would be happy to answer them. Thanks. Bye. Yo, so like I mentioned early in the video, if your school, if you're looking through the series and you're like, well, the school of my interest is not listed yet, make sure you comment below so I can go hunt that student down so I can get a student to represent their program to be a part of this Student Speak series. All right, Fairming, you're up. Hey guys, my name is Fairming Ture Jr. and I am a first year physical therapy student at MGHISP in Boston, Massachusetts. And I just wanted to first off just say thank you to Justin for allowing me to come on and talk about my school a little bit and my experiences there. So to start it off, um, I think one of the biggest draws about our program is that, you know, we only take 
one class at a time for four weeks. Um, you know, we get a lot of information packed into those four weeks, um, but you know, it's it's a lot easier to manage than having six classes and five exams and two quizzes and uh, a practical all in the same week. So how it works for us is we'll have a, we'll have the four weeks and at the end of the four weeks, we'll have a final comprehensive, final practical and written exam. And then we'll have quizzes sprinkled in between. And then at the end of the semester, we'll have a comprehensive exam of all the courses we've took. So all the courses will build on each other and it brings back concepts from the first class to the third class. So you don't just take a class and forget about it until they're comprehensive. You know, you get things that were introduced in the first class will come back in the second and third class and just continue to build on there. So you're just continuously building and building until, you know, until you're three when you're ready to take the boards. And then by then, you know, you just have a basic, you have the foundation of what you need. And then I think that makes it easier to just navigate school wise. <clears throat> um, the faculty are, I think the faculty are great. Um, you know, they have a lot of different experiences, you know, um, specialize in different things and they bring that perspective to us. And, you know, it's, it's, they really just want us to learn. They want us to ask for help because they understand, you know, what it's like to be a student now and all the responsibilities that come with it. And, you know, we got more than just school going on. So they're really receptive really open to feedback. They take feedback very seriously. They have mid, mid class evals and final evals, and they'll try and take stuff from the mid class evals to implement, to try and change the last two weeks of the class so that they can um, make the changes that we suggested if it's you know feasible. But then they'll take that end of the year feedback, end of the class feedback and try and implement it for the next year for the next class coming in that's going to take that class. So I just really appreciate the the openness, the willingness to to see the feedback, you know, try and implement it and then just trying to be better for the next class. So this the, what might have happened for us is not probably not going to be the same for the next class because of the feedback we got. And same on same on like they're just continuously looking to grow and that's something that I appreciate cuz that's what we trying to do as well. Um, and I feel like this this campus is a place where, you know, we have a lot of opportunity to, to, to you know, to do what we do what we want, really. You know, if you want to be participating in research, you can do that. If you want to work while on campus, you can do that. If you want to, you know, play sports while in PT school, you can do that, even though it's a grad program. If you want to you know, learn about other professions like genetic counseling or speech language pathology or nursing or, you know, OT, PA. We got that. We we do a whole, you know, we do a course with working with the other um, healthcare professionals in our program, um, just like figuring out cases together, working with different professions, see how, how each um, profession will you know, implement how their thought process through a case and what they're going through, what they all bring to the table. And I think that was really valuable to us because we're going to have to work with healthcare professionals, other health professionals anyway, when we get out of school, like we ain't doing this by ourselves. So I think that's really important, good exposure to get through early. Um, I think um, another, speaking of early, like we get clinicals, um, we just finished a six week um, rotation in the in the hospital. So once a week for six weeks, we were in the hospital and we had just taken um, a little neuro and a little cardio pump and to be able to take some of those lessons and bring those into the hospital and actually work on, you know, examinations and muscle testing, taking his patient history, building rapport, things like that. Um, to, it's cool to, to actually work on it and see, you know, one that, you know, where you got to improve on, but two, just the, the little impact that you can make even now as a student. And by the time we, year two, year three, by the time we on our full times, then, you know, it's going to be totally different just because of the exposure that we got and just getting, you know, getting introduced to the field early. Um, and speaking of clinicals, um, we we get a, so we get our inpatient one first, 
next semester in the spring, we'll get a rotation in the outpatient setting, and then we'll go on a full, we'll have a full-time clinical in like June, July-ish for 10 weeks. Our next full-time clinical will be that following spring. And then the third year, you have the opportunity to do a 14-week clinical unpaid internship, or you could do a full year paid internship, play clinical, which I don't think anywhere else in the country does that. So, I mean, you can really work on those student loans if you uh, if you get matched with a paid full year third internship. And it's probably going to set you up to have a job right off after you graduate. Um, so for that, you just got to you got to match. You got to interview with that clinic and make sure you're a fit and then you get paid to work there and then once you pass the boards probably bring you on as a full-time employee and then you like making pt money so i think that's a really cool opportunity i think that's you know that's awesome that they give us a way to kind of attack some of those loans that we might be taking out or something like that and you know i think it's it it's allows us to really just get our feet in the door and like really early and, you know, just start making an impact. Um, another thing that I wanted to mention was that we have a class of 70, big class. I think it brings a lot of different perspectives. It brings a, um, you know, you get to learn from different people. Um, you get to work with different people. This curriculum is big on, on group work, teamwork, working together. Um, so I, I just really appreciate that. And, you know, I, I think, you know, I, uh, that's one of the, that's a lot of the draws that I saw about MGH and just what everybody had said before I even came here. It kind of was validated once, you know, I started going here. Um, I think the only con I could really think of was that, you know, we, we do have the classes in the four weeks, so it's really fast paced, but, and if you get behind, behind, you're in trouble. But I think, you know, once you figure out your routine, it's going to take everybody a, a different amount of time because everybody's different. But once you figure out your routine, figure out what you got to know and how you got to study and manage your time, then it makes it a whole lot easier to go through PT school. Um, so that's what I, I really appreciate about, you know, MGH. And um, um, I think just to, to wrap up real quick, um, like I said, it's in Boston right by TD Garden. So my sports fans, like you get a, you get a great experience. Um, we get to, as we get to, we have a pro bono clinic called at the impact center. So just being able again to have the opportunity to work with, you know, people who might not be able to get PT without it, without the pro bono clinic. So just being able to, you know, make a difference. You might not think that it's a big thing, but to that person, it's, it's a huge thing. So just having the opportunity to work with, with those patients, it's it's a blessing to have that right upstairs, right downstairs in our in our campus. Um, you know, every morning you get the you get probably one of the most beautiful views in the country, um, right by the water. Um, you know, we write a lot of history out here. I will write on the Freedom Trail, part of the Freedom Trail. There's a lot of history I haven't explored yet, so I know I need to do that. I can't tell you exactly yet, but I will be soon. I promise that. Um, we we do a lot of simulations, a lot of um, you know patient interactions, a lot of working with our classmates just to make sure you know try try and prepare us as best we can for what we're gonna see, what we may see in the real world, and so we're not surprised, and we can go ahead and take action. And um, you know we got we get a lot of lab work. A lot of opportunity to work with professionals, PTs in the in the game right now, and how they go about things, and just being able to use them as a resource, really invaluable. And you know, that's I think you know that's all that I got about my program. Like I really love it. I'm glad that I made the decision to come here. I'm glad they took a chance on me um, to go there. And, um, you know, if you guys have any questions or anything, you guys can you know, hit me up and we can talk about MGH or we can talk about, you know, if you're debating about whether it's a good or not, uh, the right fit for you or not, like, let's talk. But again, thank you, Justin, for allowing me to come on and talk to you guys. But I hope you guys have a great day. I'll talk to you guys later. All right. Bye.
Hey guys, really quick, if you're benefiting from this video, please feel free to like this video and share with some of your friends. This whole pre-PT community is a pretty small community. So, the Student Speak series is something that I've created to help all of you, and I want to get the word out. There are so many students who do not know this series, do not know this YouTube channel, and I want to be a resource for all of you. So, if you can share this video, that would help out a lot. All right, Cam, you're up. St. Louis, Missouri, let's go. Hey, what's up, guys? My name is Cam. I'm a first year PT student at Washington University in St. Louis. Um, first of all, I just wanted to thank Justin for setting up this video series and allowing for me to be a part of it and talk about my school. I think it's really cool what he's doing with his channel. Um, just giving a preview of different schools and just giving a preview of what PT's like. I'm super excited to see what he does with the rest of his channel. Um, so today, I just kind of want to talk about WashU a little bit. Um, kind of the things that I think makes it really cool. So first of all, um, Wash U is located in St. Louis, like pretty close to the downtown area. Um, it's a private school. Um, it's part of the School of Medicine, as well as um, School of Occupational Therapy, um, um, medical school, of course. And then um, a couple of different programs are around like the um, School of Pharmacy and the nursing school nearby. Um, so one of the things that I think that makes WashU like different than a lot of other schools and actually the reason why I chose it is the clinical education piece. Um, so for example, in our first semester, we got to spend every Tuesday in a local clinic um, with a PT and kind of just see what PT is like, um, different than observation experience because we actually got to practice some of the skills that we were learning in our first semester, which was super cool. Um, I was in an acute care um, at a hospital, so um, I started to see kind of how interprofessional team works, which was really cool. Um, it's so much different than observing because I feel like, at least for me, when I was observing during undergrad, I wasn't really sure what I was looking for because as far as classes go, it wasn't specifically PT related. So I've just been kind of been able to ask more in-depth questions and really learn more about PT throughout that. Um, and then I'm pretty sure we get more like clinical experience earlier in other ways too. For example, our first clinical is coming up next summer and it's eight weeks long. And from what I've heard about a lot of other, other, a lot of other schools, um, they don't get as much er, um, early on as we do, which I think is really cool just to get more experience, get my feet wet um, before going deeper into school. Um, and we also get to do that um, early clinical early clinical experience um, this spring as well. Um, another thing about Wash U that's really different um, is the human movement system is kind of um, Wash U's baby. And what the human movement system is, it's a like approach to PT that's based off of movements, of course, surprise there. Um, and it focuses on how um, improper movements can lead to injury and impairments. Um, and then just using those kind of different um, diagnoses to develop a treatment plan and um, continue to look at different movements. Um, it, as far as research goes, has been pretty successful. Um, WashU has been very involved in research and there are a lot of professors too who are super involved in research. Um, most of them are still practicing. Um, so it's really cool to see how certain professors or just um, faculty members are involving research in their treatment and kind of learning about that through school, um, which I think is really cool to see. Um, we have a lot of like well-renowned staff um, who are super involved in their field, have certain specialties. Um, also, the school offers a fellowship program in the human movement system. Um, so if you're so inclined to um, be interested in doing a fellowship after graduating PT school, um, all power to you, and um, WashU offers one as well. Um, I know it's super popular. Um, let's see what else. Um, WashU is also super involved in the community. Um, like I was talking about interprofessional education, um, we got to do a lot of that during the first semester of school. So we got to interact with students from the MD program, occupational therapy, uh, school of pharmacy and nursing and kind of see what they do really because I know before starting school I didn't really understand the scope of practice of PT obviously so I didn't really know the scope of practice of 
other professions. Um, so it's kind of cool just to see, especially for me being in a uh, acute care setting for my first experience to see how different parts of a team work together, how the MD works with the PT, with the OT, speech therapy, how they work with the nurses, everything is just really cool to see um, how all those different aspects of care come together to make the patient's experience better. Um, and another way WASH is super involved in the community is um, kind of just learning about people that we're treating. So St. Louis, I'm sure like a lot of other big cities is super um, divided as far as wealth goes. There's a huge health disparity um, between impoverished and the wealthy community in St. Louis, and it's even divided up to a couple different streets. Um, so we got to go on like a bus tour to see the, some of those areas, um, just to kind of see like what our city's like, especially for most people who aren't from St. Louis, which I think was really cool. Um, and kind of just learning about how that affects care and what we can do to treat our patients um, just how we can treat patients most efficiently, especially being able to um, interact with different kinds of patients, which I think was really cool because you're gonna see like a, such a variety of patients um, based on any setting that you're in. Um, so yeah, I think one of my favorite things for sure was the clinical education. That's pretty much the reason I came to, to watch you. Um, I just wanted to get as much hands-on experience as early as possible. Um, as far as cons go, it is pretty pricey. Um, pricier than a lot of schools I looked at, um, but worth it in my opinion. Um, and then another one is the large class size. Um, so our class is about 89 people, 88, 89, um, which is a lot bigger than other schools I know. And to me, it was kind of intimidating coming into school. I was thinking like, how am I gonna like ever make sure I'm getting enough um, feedback from professors or lab instructors or whatever it is. Um, but honestly, it's felt much smaller. Um, they divide everything up into groups pretty well for labs. Um, and then during classwork, like, I mean, you don't really need smaller groups for that a lot of time. Um, and then they're always giving great feedback. Like I have never felt like I was overwhelmed with the amount of people and not being able to get proper feedback. Um, and then there's also like such a diversity of students in the class um, that as far as like when it comes to practice time, you can practice on literally anyone and you'll get a different experience each time, which I think is super cool compared to schools where maybe their class size is like 20. Um, obviously, I think Wash U is the best because I'm super biased and I go there. So um, if you have more questions, I know Justin was going to kind of give some more contact information. So if you have more questions about school, I'd be happy to answer more. Um, I know I'm just a first year student, so I don't probably have all the answers, but be willing to help with as much as I could. Um, and whatever it comes to making your decision when it comes to school, I hope you find what you're looking for and wish you the best. So I hope these voices help inspire you to either apply for that program, push you to go there, or uh, hold you back and reconsider applying to that specific program. Whether or not, whichever direction you're going, I'm sure you gained a ton of insight from these specific programs. And once again, I thank you for all your support. Guys, if you can, please feel free to share this video with your pre-PT or your physical therapy community. It's a very small community, and yet so many students do not know about this series and this YouTube channel. That's a ton, 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 a great resource for all pre-physical therapy students. So thank you, thank you, thank you for all your support. I really appreciate all of you. I hope this video helped inspire some self-change for you to start looking into some programs, or maybe not. Change people, change people. That's why we live for change people. Stay lifting, stay aloha, have a great one you guys.